Hi, welcome back to Kunwa Pa Creations tutorial videos. Today I'm going to show you the assembly of a beaded pop socket where the bead worker is larger than the pop socket. And my Nymo size zero beading thread, needles, um, pop socket, and size 11 delicas. Some brain tan leather for the backing. And a pop socket that's just the size of the base but we're going to cover the base because the beadwork is going to be larger than the socket. So I'm going to use some pelon and some attach the cab to the pelon and, and do the beadwork around it. So I just took the pelon and I attached it to the, car, the sketch pad paper with a simple basting stitch just to stabilize it and hold it together. And take the uh, pop socket and put some E6000 on it and position it right in the center of the square. A pylon and made sure there's enough room around the cab for the beadwork. Just did the simple design all the way around the cab. Cut that piece out and to attach it to the pop socket. And it, with the beadwork now, it is larger than the base. So I snip that all the way around. And we're going to, I took cardboard around the piece and I cut that circle out just a little smaller than the piece so that there's room on the edge for your needle to go through to put the edging around Needs to help the beadwork to lay flat. Stabilizes it on the base. And some Elmer's glue. It just holds it in place. And use Elmer's glue so that if you ever needed to take it off to repair it, it was it would be easier. and glue the beadwork to the cardboard. And I did then I attached the pop socket to the back of the cardboard. I did use Gorilla Glue for that, make it a little bit more secure. Pop socket. And Gorilla Glue to glue the leather to the back. I cut the size of the beadwork out and cut it up, slit it up the middle of the circle to fit the entire base of the pop socket. And cut a small circle out the size of the base and I wrapped it around and I sewed it up and secured it to the back of the pop socket and molded it to the base and the beadwork. Did a single one needle method. Row of beads 
attaching the beadwork to the brain tan leather all the way around. So four beads at a time. Go down and come back up and go back through two. So that's your one needle method. Attaching the beadwork to the brain tan leather, as I said. And make sure that it stays attached. And do just a single row of black. All the way around the outside. So once they get that row around there, that's attaching the beadwork to the brain tan leather. We're going to do a off the weave to cover up the edge so it doesn't show the the raw edge of the so just do I did uh, the colors of the design I just did the off limb wave stitch and I did two beads at a time Getting the colors kind of where the color in the design is. Didn't have to, didn't worry about it being perfect, just in the same area. And then filled in the spots for with white. Just to give it a splash of color on the end. So I just did two. So you're gonna go back through three. And go back through to be in this position to put your next piece on. And you go back and go through two. Back you go back three. So you're coming up right in the middle of the last two beads you put on. If you need to, you can watch my off-line wave video. Show how to do the off-line wave stitch. Or the, my pop socket other pop socket video we'll show you how to we did the edging let's continue with that design same put the white in between the splash of color this gives it an extra and then we did the black, two rows of black that goes over the edge. And the last row, um, because they're delicate, they don't lay rough. Um, you can't pull them close together like a seed bead. So we're going to decrease this last row. So what I did is I'm going to skip a bead. So rather than come and go through two, I'll skip a bead and come back through three. And that will pull that line together. And then so that that last row is going to lay flat. 
So you're decreasing the amount of beads. So you skip one bead. So you're basically, instead of coming back through two, you're coming back through three. When you go back up, because I'm not uploading my mirror, putting on two, going back through two, or going back through three and coming back through. But now you're going to put your two beads on and go back through three. So you're skipping a space and you're decreasing the amount of beads in that last circle. And it will pull it all tighter so that row will be la lay flatter. So put on, you're gonna see where it needs to get decreased or not. Because the beads will be all, will be bunched up. So you're gonna come back through that three and you're basically skipping a, a bead. And so that it will lay flat because that last row is all bunched up and you can see where they're bunching up and need to decrease. <laughs> then you get to a spot where it's really pulled over and it looks like a regular two bead we will fit and lay flat so it's just your judgment of where you need to decrease to lay them flat you can see where the you can see that string clear enough that means you needed to go back to putting two regular instead of the decrease stitch you decrease that last row to lay flat and you just continue all around to the edge I'm um, to the end and attach to the first beads you put on I hope I did explain that well enough if not send me a message and I'll see if I can try it again yeah, but once you get that last row on lay flat you just I pulled my needle up in between the last two rows, tied my knot, snooped it off, burnt the end, and that is putting a top pop socket on that's larger than the base. Okay, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. of assembling a pop socket that's larger than the base. Fitting it right to that base, gluing it so it's form fitting. Okay, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial video. You can come join our feeding group please answer all three questions or you won't be added or you can stop by my website at www.quinwellpawcreations.com thanks for stopping by see you next time